Hello everyone, I'm glad you're back for another video because today we're going to be making some geometric art. All you'll need will be some paper, some cardboard, scissors, and some coloring tools. You can use crayons, markers, color pencils, and even watercolors or paints if you happen to have them lying around the house. So the first step is to cut out some shapes on the cardboard. Um, these will be our stencils, so we'll need at least a circle. We'll need a triangle, we'll need a square, a rectangle, and any other two or three shapes of your choice. You know, try to make them as big as your palm, like these, so that they're easier to cut out on the cardboard and easier to trace. So once you have your shapes, you're gonna get your paper or your cardstock and you're gonna set it in front of you and then you're gonna start tracing your shapes on it with a pencil or with some other color of your choice. Okay, the goal is to have the shapes overlap just like this so that we can get creative when we start coloring them in. All right, look at the overlap. So now that we're done, we can color by part, not by shape. That means that we can color any area as long as we don't go over any lines. We're not trying to color the entire shape. We're just trying to color the little tiny parts that are created by overlapping the shapes. So use different colors and take your time so that your work of art could come out the best way possible. Here's the overlapping, okay? And here's what the finished piece should look like. And I know yours will look way better. And you could display your wonderful work of art on your wall, in your living room, and even on the refrigerator. So I hope you have fun with this activity. Thanks again for watching and making art with me. Remember to stay safe, stay active, and always, always stay inspired. I'll see you next time. Bye.